so good to see you. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Now and virtually in the future. Good of you to be here, because um, this wouldn't be the same playing to an empty lawn. Um, that, was, that was a pair of marches that I wrote. Uh, the first one was um, written relatively recently, well, 2006. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it seems like just yesterday. And, and the, the first one, uh, sorry, the second one, <laughs> second one was written for a gathering of my fiddle students back in 2005, <laughs> in the days when we could gather. What was it called? What were they called? Ah, the first one, first tune, and the one we came back to was called Log House March. 
Um, that was written for my, my brother, who I reconnected with in 2006 after the best part of a quarter of a century. There's a story there. Let's not go into it now. Family history? Oh, family history. And um, the, the second one was called Snake Mountain Gathering Number 2. But there is also a Snake Mountain Gathering Number 1, as you might have guessed. We're going we're gonna to carry on now with a song which is new to us, although it's not new. It's from Down Under. It's a New Zealand wailing song, as in wahailing. Um, and it sort of, it stems from the days when, <laughs> oh, somebody can tune that plane, please. It stems from the days when the people were sort of co-opted onto the whaling ships, taken off to sea, and then they were paid in staples like sugar, rum, tea, that sort of thing. They were never given hard currency so they could never buy their passage back home. And a lot of them just ended up whaling for life or dropped on islands here, there, or, or somewhere else. And um, th there's a chorus in, in this which we're not encouraging you to sing because I think singing is a dangerous activity at the moment. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, it says, it, it refers to, the, the, there's a reference to a Weller man. Or the Weller company was one of these whaling companies. Soon may the Weller man come and bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, the tonguing was cutting the whale meat into strips. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Yeah, right. So it's either naivety or irony. I'm not quite sure which. And I need a different instrument. I was meant to be changing instruments during all of that. To see, and the name of the ship was the Billy of Tea. The wind blew up, her bow dipped down, a oh, blow me, bully boys, blow. Soon may the weller man come and bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue in is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. The whale's tail came up and caught her All hands through the side, harpooned and fought her But she dived down below Soon may the well man come And bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go On greed, he belonged to the whaleman's creed. She took that ship in tow. Soon may the weatherman come and bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days and nights or more, the line went slack, then tight once more. All the boats were lost, there were only four, and still that whale did go. Soon may the weatherman come. his regular call to encourage the captain, crew and all. Soon may the well of man come and bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the time is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the well of man come and bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the time is done, we'll take our leave and go.
Thank you. You were, you were, would you like to hear? Yeah. I thought you were flipping into talking. default Zoom mode okay. there. Yeah. Is this on? Are we on yet? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so uh, that was just a few jigs. First one from Ireland and a couple from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. So a few years ago, I was reading the obituaries in the paper, as one does, and uh, I came across an interesting life story of a lady named Molly Cool Carney who had passed away in Bangor, Maine, pushing her 100th birthday. I don't think she quite made it. Um, but she had been born in New Brunswick, and she was the daughter of a Dutch immigrant who operated a small freighter, small ship. Um, and he was sort of ahead of his times. He brought all of his children, his two daughters and his son, equally trained them in seamanship. And of the three children, the youngest daughter, Molly, was the most apt. And she went on to become the first licensed woman merchant marine captain in Canada's history. Um, 
So I wrote this song. This is kind of Molly's story from, uh, as told by her father. Dutchman of the sea, and I guess my family has the salt for the Atlantic in our veins. For a bit of fun, took my daughters and my son on board the DDK to learn the ropes and all her lines. They knew that hulking wreck from her engine room to deck. You could say they were her kids as much as. I still see her on the prow of my good old harbor scow. The sea breeze whistling through her curly hair. 1934, no word, the girls ashore. Molly sought admission to the Seaman's Institute. Met with doubt and met with scorn. But the girl's a sailor born. She's the best among her class without dispute. Her water sense and weather rise. The Dutchman's daughter knows every current, every shoal. You want a rat the helm when seas run high. In a world of ships and men, she carries on my name. She braves the roughest water, she looks scales in the eyes. From wild Bundy Bay to the rocky coast of My dreams are filled with rolling seas, shifting winds and tides. All that I love most still sails the down east coast. Molly and her freighter are my pride. Come aboard, Captain Molly, steer for the bay.
Thank you. Thank you. That was a, a set of modern Scottish reels with way too many notes in it. It was a Maggie's Pancakes, the High Drive, and um, a variation on the Isla Ranters, which we just call Isla Rant, because it's a variation on it. So some years ago, when we were first thinking about getting together, uh, we went to the Middlebury Library, and there's a collection of songs there that was put together by Helen Hartness Flanders. And we culled through many songs there. And this is one we've been uh, doing for quite some time. Um, and we listened to it. Uh, they were wax 
cylinders that we're recording. So it, everything wasn't perfectly legible. Um, and for many years, we, we had to settle for kind of a facsimile of what the words might have been. There were guesses. And, um, and then in the recent past, uh, our first mandolin player, Brian Perkins, uh, sent me the definitive words. And it was like, really? There's not an next pastiz in the cellar? <laughs> <laughs> so I've been, uh, I've been edified. And this is the, uh, the version that Sam uh, Devers uh, wrote way back. Devere? Devere. Devere. Sam Devere He's wrote way, way, way back then. African-American traveling minstrel performer. That's really, yeah. Uh, and it was popularized by Asa Davis from Milton, Vermont. So there. Um, it was, we had been calling it, I Live Too High for Comfort. He called it Upstairs in My Bedroom. <laughs> Um, I'm on the fence about which way to go, <laughs> but this is it. Mostly it. <laughs> okay, it's really good to be playing music again. Oh, it's been a little, a little while. <laughs> Things sort of, well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> how, how does it feel to be at a concert? <laughs> Re remember what it's called? <laughs> um, so we, we've, we've had a bit of downtime. And you'd think we'd have been really, really productive in that downtime, but, you know, it's hard to get motivated. But, well, we put together that one song that we did earlier about the Weller Man, and, um, and I've written a couple of tunes. This is going to be one of them. This is one of my quarantunes uh, that emerged. Um, it's, it's a march. It's the only march I've ever written in 12-8 time. <laughs> Whatever that may be. And, um, and it's... <laughs> It's called March of Isolation. <laughs> He's really embraced 
This whole the funny thing is, it's the happiest tune you've ever heard, so obviously Peter just does not like people. <laughs> that is actually the revised title. The first one was vetoed. <laughs> Apparently the tune was way too happy to have reference to coronavirus in it. <laughs> I'll just warm up the plumbing. The wind has died. I'm going to risk it. Too happy. Well, come here, right there, right here in Panton, Vermont. Um, so if you speak French, we apologize for the following song. Uh, <laughs> this is a French Canadian lumberman song, and um, it was collected by no lesser authority on French Canadian music than Pete Seeger. We actually got it off a recording of him. Um, so it's a bastardized version of bastardized French. Um, <laughs> But it's about Les Raff's men, the, the river drivers, and their big night out on the town. Uh, we'll follow it up with a, a tune from the playing of the great Franco-American fiddler from Burlington, Louis Baudouin. Mm -hmm. 
Où sont allés tous les raftsmen? Où sont allés tous les raftsmen? The down by town sans arrêter. Sing to the ring, bang to the ring. Let's pass it, les raftsmen. Bing to the ring, bing bang. The down by town sans arrêter. The down by town sans arrêter. Des provisions sont apportées. Bing to the ring, bang to the ring. Let's pass it, les raftsmen. Bing to the ring, bing bang. Des provisions sont apportées. Des provisions sont apportées. Des pork and beans ils ont mangé. Bing to the ring, bang to the ring. Laissez passer les ratsmen. Bing to the ring, bing bang. Des pork and beans ils ont mangé. Des pork and beans ils ont mangé. Après avoir très bien dîné. Bing to the ring, bang to the ring. Laissez passer les ratsmen. Bing to the ring, bing bang. Après avoir très bien dîné. Après avoir très une pipe du plâtre, ils ont fumé. Bing to the ring, bang to the ring. Laissez passer les rasmen. Bing to the ring, bing bang. Une pipe du plâtre, ils ont fumé. Une pipe du plâtre, ils ont fumé. Ils sont allés voir la mer Gautier. Bing to the ring, bang to the ring. Laissez passer les rasmen. Bing to the ring, bing to the ring, bang to the ring. Let's pass it, let's pass it, bang to the ring, bang to the ring, bang to the ring. Let's pass it, let's pass it. Danger of the off switch, the mute switch. <laughs> Been a while. Ma mandolin was late to the party. <laughs> I don't think the guitar made it to the party. <laughs> okay. Um, as long as we went to all the trouble of having the uh, appropriate nautical themed vessels and uh, a few other little details, um, I thought it would behoove us or me to uh, sing what I have been referring to. Um, recently as a rescue shanty. Um, has anybody ever heard of that? <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's a little story involved, of course. Uh, we had just departed Nantucket, headed for Woods Hole, in the teeth of a waning gale, nor'easter. Uh, being the hardy crew, or so I thought that we were, um, we figured, well, this will be a, an, a great adventure. And so we uh, headed towards Woods Hole, and it was, um, it was wavy, and mm -hmm. there was a lot of wind, and uh, the crew responded um, in an entirely favorable way. <laughs> um, there was uh, queasiness and uh, general grumbling among the ranks. So... Uh, in my infinite wisdom, I said, well, give me that guitar. I will cheer you up. And so I grabbed the guitar, I grabbed the helm and my little pipe, and I proceeded to sing this song. And by the time I was done, all was mirth and laughter. No one was seasick any longer. And so this is a, the first rescue shanty. And I'm sure if anybody ever sees this video, and uh, they're just yeah, shaking their heads like, who is this guy? Anyway, <laughs> it's called 
appropriately, wave over wave. By Jim Payne from Newfoundland. It's a Newfie song. I got it from a Newfie, Keith Murphy. So there. Anything else? Did I miss anything? Okay. <laughs> Sable Rogers, chairman for hire on a three-masted schooner from Squilly Gate High. In the world over, north, south, east, and west, and the middle of nowhere's where I like the best. It's a wave over wave, sea over bow. I'm as happy a man as the sea will allow. There's no other life for chairman like me. But do sail the salt sea, boys, sail to sea. There's no other life but to sail the salt sea. Now the work it is hard and the hours are long. My spirit is willing and my back it is strong. When the work's over, the whiskey will pour and we'll dance with the girls on some foreign shore. Sail the salt sea, boys, sail to sea. There's no other life but to sail the salt sea. Now I need my wife with me ten months of the year. She's made me a home and raised my children here. But she never come out to bid farewell to me. Oh, I care why a man must sail the salt sea. So wave the wave, sea over bow. I'm as happy a man as the sea will allow. No other life for chairman like me, but to sail the salt sea, boys, sail to sea. There's no other life but to sail the salt sea. Thank you. You heard it here first. Rescue shanty. All right. So we decided since I mean, nobody's been out to a concert in a long time, uh, we would keep this short mainly because we are also recording it. Uh, it will be posted online hopefully within the next few days uh, so that anybody can enjoy it. So if you enjoyed the show, we'll send you a link and you can tell your friends. Uh, we have a little... How will we know if you enjoyed it? Uh, there's a little tip jar, <laughs> so you can express your you can express your appreciation the American way if you wish. Um, we also have some CDs for sale, which we'd be happy 
to part with. And I want to say a huge <laughs> thank you to our uh, two young volunteers, uh, Ma uh, Jack Knopf, who's doing the videography, who is a film and art student, and Max Rossi, who's a, a recent, recently started his own sound engineering company. So. He had to come off the arena schedule to yeah, join us here. He's, but. he's gone from doing festival sound in Montreal to doing folk music in a backyard, but that's where we are right now. So. Um, Whatever you can get now. Yeah, we're glad to have them. So we're going to just do one more set of tunes, and uh, we just want to thank you for coming and, and being our live audience for this. Thank you so much. So this is an experiment, and you might, you might repeat it. Uh, so we'll just finish off with a couple of tunes that I wrote. Uh, the first one I wrote for my airplane-obsessed niece. It's called the Aviatrix, which is like my favorite word in the English language. Um, <laughs> She just passed her private pilot exam. Oh. And uh, the second one is called Flying Through the Gap. It has nothing to do with airplanes, as every good Vermonter knows. A gap is a mountain pass, and this is all about being late to something on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. who are um, mixed French and native heritage and have their own really cool fiddle. And once again, thank you for being here and making life seem normal once more. <laughs> Thank you, one and all. And tell your friends, tell your friends where to find us. Thank you. <laughs>